Hey guys, it's Gio here from the Phantom United Podcast. Just want to share my thoughts on Superman and Lois, episode three. You know, for me, this show is, uh, you know, doing all the right things for for what it is. Um, Clark Kent, Superman as a family man, as a father, as a husband. Uh, I'm really enjoying the storytelling that's going on there. Um, You know, he's just trying to do the right thing for his kids and uh it's it's a learning process for him you know um i look at clark kent as the new pa kent in this show because you know he's he's a father now and so it's a whole new journey for him and in this episode in particular his uh super hearing we'll just call it that comes into play it provides a little bit of humor you know uh, his son's Jonathan and Jordan Kent, they ask him at the uh, dinner table, you know, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever heard? And it's those laughable fun moments that, you know, really just make it overall entertaining, you know, but then there's, there's a family aspect, you know, the the sons, Jordan Kent, Jonathan Kent, um, Jonathan Kent, you know, for a while being the overachiever, his mentality is, you know, more, more mature than that of Jordan's. But then Jordan Kent has powers and is, you know, kind of struggling with it. We get hints in this episode that his anxiety, you know, when he uh, starts to feel danger is when his powers, you know, come to uh, come to rise. And seeing him play football (laughs) all of a sudden become, you know, Sean Taylor Ronnie Lott, Jamal Adams, for those football fans out there, it, it was was fun to see. Um, no, he's not really using his powers fairly, but he is having fun with it. The show is having fun with it. And, of course, there's going to be ram- ramifications in the future. If you saw the uh, preview for the next episode, um, it hints at, you know, one of the kids getting hurt. And, um, once again, there being another lesson for the uh, Ken brothers. And then you got Lois Lane doing her thing, you know, kind of, you know, learning, you know, the ways of Smallville and doing small time journalism for small towns and finding the importance of, you know, pursuing stories, especially in those kind of places, you know, where they don't have all the resources, you know, in in that small town. Um, The introduction of a new big bad guy. Well, sort of new. Uh, if you've seen the episode, he gets killed off at the end. But the fact that there's more superpowered beings in this world, we don't know exactly who they are yet. Uh, we know that they're tied to Morgan Edge, you know, who's kind of been the Lex Luthor of this, you know, first season. Uh, speaking of Captain Luthor, where was he? I don't know. Uh, he just uh, he's busy finding re- materials to make a new suit. But until then, Clark Kent has his hands full, not just at home, but in the world with these uh, superpowered beings. One of them has a uh, heat vision and killed off the uh, the big superpowered henchman that nearly just uh, killed Lois Lane uh, during her quest to uh, find answers. So once again, I really enjoy this episode, episode three of Superman and Lois. Um, it has its CW moments where there's like, you know, writing and dialogue and delivery of that dialogue is just like, Ugh. but other than that, you know, you just roll with that and you'll find some good fun entertainment from uh, this show. And uh, it's something you could definitely sit down and watch with your family. Um, three episodes in, very much enjoying it. Look, Looking forward to uh What's to come? Leave me your thoughts on Superman and Lois episode three, uh, titled The Perks of Not Being a Wallflower. And uh, looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Until next week, you guys have a good one. Be safe. And uh, yeah, see you then.